Hello. Hello. Welcome to Say You Think You're Iconic. It's the last day of Twilight Week. Woohoo! And now we can finally say Happy New Year. <laughs> oh yes, Happy New Year. Um, it is January 1st now. Yay. Yay. We did it. We did it. We made it, y'all. Like Dora said, we did it. Yes, we did. Thank you, Dora. <laughs> Thank you, Dora. <laughs> um, we're very excited for this to be over, or at least I am, because I still oh, have no. I still haven't even um edited the eclipse episode. Oh no. I am very excited that this is over. I literally finished breaking down part two and I was like, oh thank god it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we can start doing real movies again yes we can start doing better movies now uh so anything happened you want to talk about um today is one of my family members birthdays <gasps> happy birthday shout out, shout out to them yesterday was my great uncle's birthday oh, so really? so sad that his birthday is the day after christmas <laughs> Oh, yeah. Let's put a little bit of a damper to it. Mm -hmm. It's fine. That's all right. They live. Oh, I have an update. Oh, okay. I finally got the courage to turn on my game that turned off when the power went off <gasps> like a couple of weeks ago. Okay. What, what happened? You want to know what happened? Yeah, what happened? What happened? Oh, no. Did it not save? It saved my progress. <gasps> oh, my God. Yes. I, yes. I've never been so happy. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy for you. I was wow. I wanted to cry. I was so happy. Yo. I was like, yay, I don't have to start back like three levels or four levels or however long it would have been. I just got oh, to start no. where I left off. And I finished the game. Oh good. Look at you. And now I can play some of these games I got for Christmas. Heck yeah. <sighs> okay. We don't really have much to say for the intro today because we're recording two episodes in one day. <laughs> yeah. Also, I don't I I think we just want to just get this episode. Yeah, over. we just want to get this <laughs> over with. Let's go, Kelly. Oh, wait, before we do start, happy uh 25th episode. Is it? Yeah, this is our 25th episode. Sure. Happy 25th. Because <laughs> I always put the number of episodes that we're on. So we're on episode 25. Okay, so let's get into this movie. So we started this movie exactly where the last one ended. Um, Bella is now awake and she's a vampire. Um, and they they do this weird thing where she can now see the smallest details. Like she yeah. can see dust in the air and like her eyes can zoom in on the carpet and see like the fire. Yeah. I don't know weird. why that was necessary. Like they could have just done something. Like we know she's a vampire. We get yeah. It. You didn't have to dumb it down for us. Like we yeah, got we, it. Yeah, we saw the last movie. <laughs> Sadly. Um, she then gets up to see Edward and she goes to him. She's a lot stronger than him at the moment. And Edward's like, yo, like chill with the strength for you trying to trying to hurt me or something. Oh she, also. Yes. When she's hugging him. There's a literally sunlight hitting her and she doesn't glow. Oh, she doesn't glimmer and neither does he. And she looks tan. Mm. Like throughout this, almost throughout this entire movie, she looks tan. Oh, okay. It was weird to me. I was like, aren't you supposed to be like super pale? Like, like what like, happened to that filter that they put on the first movie where they made everything white and gray? It's gone. It's it's been gone. Because now in Breaking Dawn Part Two, like it's rarely ever like gloomy. It's very warm. I yeah. Think the only part that's like cool toned is the end. Yeah, the battle. Yeah. It's weird. Very weird. So they have a moment to themselves, and then she asks where Vanessa is, and Edward's like, uh, "Maybe we should wait a little bit because you know you're a new vampire. Get your thirst under control." Oh my gosh, that was so funny. She didn't realize she was hungry until he said something. 
Oh yeah. Because yeah, she was yeah, like, yeah. she was like, "Where's Renesme?" He was like, "Maybe we should go get some you something to eat first. And then she like grabs her throat. Yeah. And she's like, "Ah, I'm yeah, so like, hungry." <laughs> <laughs> Um, so they go on a hunt and they race through the forest together and um, like she has super hearing now so she hears a deer and they go after it but the moment she is about to get the deer she smells a human that's uh, free climbing close by. It was very and, weird like she smelled him before he even like cut himself. <laughs> yeah yeah and then he predictably cuts his knee on on the rock and he starts bleeding and she's like oh man I gotta get him I gotta get him. So she races after the human and almost like gets to him. But um, Edward stops her and is like, you're better than this. You're so much stronger. And then she's like, hi, yeah, I am. She's like, yeah. I am. And then so she jumps back down the mountain and goes back to the deer. And when she gets to the deer, a mountain lion is about to kill it, but she like kills it cougar. instead. It was a cougar. It was a cougar. Because I looked it up. I was like, is that oh, a cougar? You did? I was like, is that a cougar? <laughs> Do they have cougars in Washington? And I looked it up and then I have a note here that says, there are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow, I'm surprised I didn't like recognize like a cougar. Anyway. Um, they get back to the house and Jacob walks out to meet them and Bella's like, yo, like keep your distance just in and case. And they're standing in direct sunlight. And they're standing in direct sunlight. And, and then they both look Jacob's tan. Like, and they both look tan. Jacob's like, nah, like I have to 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 like see how this reaction goes for the baby. And like she's like, excuse me. And Edward's like, don't tell her, don't tell her. Right, Jacob's right. like, we're not talking about this right now. <laughs> All right, we'll we'll talk about it later. And so like they're like, All right, let's go meet the baby. So Bella then goes to finally meet her daughter, and we see the creepy CGI baby. Um and then Bella holds her and you know, so he puts her hand on her cheek and she sees like her first memories or whatever. And it's her like seeing Bella for the first time. Looking at me. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> he literally looks like death and she's yes. like and she's like, that's what I remember about you, yeah. mommy. <laughs> Look at my mom, half dead. <laughs> because of me <laughs> halfway in the grave <laughs> you see that i did that i'm so proud of myself <laughs> um and so we learned that she is gifted bella then comments on how fast she's grown because she's like dude this is not the baby i birthed she's a lot bigger and carlisle had like, teeth yes it had a carlisle, mouthful of teeth carlisle's like oh it's some weird unprecedented growth and it's like are you not more concerned that how fast this kid is growing <laughs> Like, forget about how monstrous the monstrosity of its face. Yeah. It had a mouthful of teeth. Mm -hmm. Like, it has to be like a toddler at that point to have teeth. Yeah. Um, so then Jacob tries to take the baby back, and Bella's like, yo, what the? Why are you doing this? And Edward tries to stop him, and Rosalie's like, all right, this is my time to shine. There's a secret here, and I know it. <laughs> <laughs> Why anyone thought Rosalie was about to keep the secret. <laughs> she doesn't keep any secrets. She doesn't keep any secrets. So Edward takes the baby, and Jacob explains that he has imprinted on Renesme, and Bella is super pissed and drags him outside. I love it. He then roughs him up, and um, everyone acting, is concerned, but her Edward. Is, her acting is so bad in this scene. <laughs> Like the things that she has to say at this point, and like you Jacob, named my daughter after the, the Loch Ness, Ness monster. monster. <laughs> the acting is awful. Like when I when this movie first came out, and I saw that clip, I literally thought it was a joke. Like I didn't see the clip, I saw it like in gift form with the captions, and I'm like, this got to be like one of those parodies. This is what we think they're saying by like their lip movements. And mm -hmm. then I watched the movie with my mom, and I'm like. Is this supposed to be a serious moment? Like it sure is. Who can say that in an angry tone and be serious about it? Like you named my daughter after the Loch Ness monster because yeah. Jacob calls her Nessie. It was bad. Um, so Bella is extremely upset and she keeps attacking Jacob and Seth, like and Leah come out and Seth like tries to step in between him and Bella hurts him. And that calms her down. Um, Jacob then explains um, 
that their attraction to one another was um, always mismatched. And it basically made, he was, it was always supposed to be Renesmee. It made no it sense. It made zero sense. Like no. what, you were attracted to her eggs? Exactly, like, that's exactly what I put. <laughs> and, I, and then I was like, and, and that, with that rationale, why weren't you attracted to Edward? He had half of the DNA. Like, <laughs> come on. True. Also, but like, how long has it been since they've known each other? She's had her period multiple times. Yeah. So has he just always been attracted to her eggs or just specifically this egg? Because then if it was specifically just this egg, then it would have only had to happen in the last, what, month? Mm-hmm. It was specifically this egg. Weird. And if I don't it know. Was, and if it was all of her eggs, what would have happened if they had got together? Would he, have, weird. would he have imprinted on his own baby? Oh, yeah, huh? And what, okay, then what if it was a boy? Would they have made Jacob gay? Oh, of course not. Of course not. Of course not. Of course not. So it's not making any sense. It's not making it make, it make sense. Um, later that night, the rest of the family um, have gone somewhere and they're coming back and they say they have a surprise for Bella's birthday. And Alice leads them to a small cottage a little bit away from Carlisle's house. And they, that's like their gift to Bella. Mm-hmm. Um, they walk around the house and they see uh, Renesmee's room and they end up at their room and then they have sex. Mm. Um, they after, start off in the bedroom. And they end up, and in, they the end up in the room. living room. <laughs> How but, that transpired, I don't want to know. I don't know. know. Yeah, I don't want to know. Bella then makes a comment about how will they ever stop having sex with one another because they don't get tired and they don't have to eat or anything. And Edward is in like, dude, it took Rosalie and Emmett like a decade to like finally calm down <laughs> for us to finally like them and the rest of the Collins to be in like a five mile radius of one another. <laughs> oh, so they just got bored. Got it. <laughs> She got bored with one another. <laughs> also, but like, did they forget that they have a kid to raise now? Like, they most definitely y'all, did. Y'all just can't go off and do that. Y'all gotta like. Rosalie kid. is that baby's real mother. Honestly, you I can't feel, tell me. Otherwise. Yeah, you can't tell me any different. Like, I bet you, Rosalie raised that kid until she until was, she was able to walk and like until talk. she was able to walk and talk, and then Edward and Bella were like, "Oh, now she's like, now she's our daughter." Yeah, that's our daughter now. Step aside. Right. So the next day, maybe, Bella and Edward show up to Carlisle's house and Vanessa Mays with Rosalie outside, who is raising her. Mm-hmm. Um, and Jacob is watching over them. Emmett then makes a comment about them having sex and, and how they ha- were ever able to stop. Right. He's like, you're done already? Right. He's like, sir, there's other things in life. Like, we have a baby. Right. Like, I get it. Like, y'all were, were young and y'all didn't have a kid, but we have a kid. So they then get a phone call from Charlie. And um, he's been calling daily and that she can't answer because he has to believe that she's dead. Also, when did they tell Charlie that she died? They didn't. Okay. That's what Jacob was going over to do. Okay. So um, we find out that now Bella, that now because Bella is turned that the Collins cannot stay in Washington anymore and Jacob is upset. Jacob then leaves and goes to Charlie's house and tells him that Bella is okay and then that she's alive but she has gone through some kind of change. We can't tell him why. And then Charlie's here's, like- Here's the thing I was talking about. Here's the thing I was talking about. Keep going. So, okay. So- Charlie's like immediately like, I'm, I got to go see her. I got to do it now. But Jacob's like, no, 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 no. I, I got to show you something first. And proceeds to just strip naked in front of Charlie. And yes. Charlie's like, yo, this is this, this ain't it. Just okay. put your clothes back on. So this is what I was talking about. Okay. I talked about this in the last episode. Go listen if you haven't. Mm-hmm. That the mythology isn't making sense. Mm-hmm. So in any of the other movies, did Jacob take off his clothes and turn into a wolf? No. No. Why did he have to take off his clothes to turn into a wolf in this movie? Exactly. And also, why did Charlie just stand there and watch him take off his clothes? <laughs> <laughs> that brings up a whole lot of issues that I don't want to go into. <laughs> like Charlie literally just, he was like, what are you doing? No, stop. 
and then like just kept watching and i was like maybe because like jacob had to go back to the cullens house like every other time he turned into a wolf he didn't go back with anybody he would just end up either back at home or with the pack so maybe this time he's like i actually have to go with charlie back to the house and i'd rather not show up but naked that doesn't make sense either because in new moon when um bella comes and confronts what's his name paul and then like jacob comes out and like he's wearing clothes and then he turns into a wolf and then when they go to emily's he's wearing those same clothes he was before he turned into a wolf the mythology is not making any sense it's not making any sense and honestly they really could just had jacob change immediately because that was just awkward watching it was very awkward maybe that was a fan service moment but obviously it was not the moment to put it in Obviously, it wasn't that awkward for Charlie because he just stood there and watched. Stop. That's weird. <laughs> That's weird. Um, so, now we know why he never got remarried. <laughs> so um, Jacob changes in front of Charlie and um, then Jacob is with Edward and Bella and basically tells them what just happened between him and Charlie. And they're very upset, but they can't stop it because Charlie is already on their way. In the meantime, they try to get Bella to act and look like a human by putting contacts in her eyes and like telling her how to fake breathing and to walk slower because she still doesn't Moves have her too fast. Yeah. Rosalie is like, you need to slouch because Americans are disgusting. Yeah, so. she's like, <laughs> humans don't sit that straight. And Bella immediately just like slouches. Curl, in curls herself. in. And then I'm like, oh yeah, that does look like the Bella from the first movie. <laughs> So Charlie shows up and he finally sees Bella and um, he asks if she can change into an animal and she's like, no, I don't do that. She, he then asks for the truth and Bella's like, I can't tell you. It's like a need to know kind of thing and you don't need to know. Yeah. And he's like, okay. Yeah. And he's this all plan like. This only works because Charlie does not care about anything. That's yeah. the only reason. This wouldn't work on a regular person. It really would. It, None of this would have worked in any like real town with any real people. No. With people in more than one brain cell, like it would not fly. Um, also, he's Charlie is afraid of Bella leaving. And if Bella tells him, then she will have to leave. So he's like, all right, I'll, I'll accept whatever's going on right now. Um, he's still having a breakdown over like Jacob turning into a werewolf and how Bella is still alive. And, then they and bring he's out like, a baby. you don't even look, you don't even look like yourself. And she's like, oh, well. <laughs> so then you bad make over. Right, right, right. Like, it's like, honestly, the moment she turned into like a vampire, her hair suddenly got more volume in it. And then mm-hmm. she has perpetual like eyeshadow and eyelashes. And I'm like, girl. <laughs> and her like her clothing style like went up mm-hmm. like 50%. Like she got so much better at wearing clothes. Yeah, like she somehow became so much more fashionable. And I only think that because in the house... They show the closet and it's full of stuff and Alice is the one who bought all the clothes. And I'm just like, that makes sense. Alice is dress. like, now that she, Alice is like, now that you're a part of this family, you can't be wearing flannels every day. Right. Like she's we like, need to It's like I have a reputation. We have a reputation. You cannot be looking at it like you just rolled out of bed. Yeah. So Edward then comes in with uh Renesme and they claim she is an adopted niece. Mm-hmm. This also doesn't make any sense, but we'll sense. get into this later. Okay. <laughs> And Charlie looks at the baby and he's like, well, he has your eyes, Bella. She has your eyes, Bella. And he's like, so it was like not... weird. <laughs> weird, <huh>? Awkward. <laughs> After that, Charlie leaves and Jasper and Emmett comment on Bella's strength um, and how she was able to control herself. Um, this then causes a, a test of strength between Bella and Emmett. And she obviously wins because she's a lot stronger and she's a newborn. And then she's distracted by light, where now is the only time she will glimmer in the sunlight. This is yep. the first and last time she will ever first, glimmer in the sunlight. First and last time. And they're, yeah. So through a voiceover, she says that she find, she's finally a vampire and she feels at home. Everything is falling into place. Even the Volturi are accepting her. But now she has a new enemy and the enemy is time. We see Jacob making up with Sam and Bella gets a gift from the Volturi. And then we see, um, I'm just going to call her Ness from now on. I don't want to have to say the whole name. Yeah, saying Renesmee is a lot. It is. 
And I feel like I spelled her name four different ways Same. in my notes until I finally was just like, I'm just going to call her Ness because this is, this is insane. Um, Ness is growing so fast and they don't know how much time that they have with her. I love that scene where like she was like on the wall and they were like checking oh, her yeah, height yeah, 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 yeah. because she looked like one of those animatronics at Disney World where they like project <laughs> the faces onto yes, them. Yes. <laughs> That's exactly what she looked like. And I was like, wow. Because the face always looks flat. Yeah. And like they showed the like changing lights, like time of day, like the sun around her, like to show that time is passing. But her face always stays the same. Yeah. No shading on her. It's just a face on a body. Finally, like, at like the fir- the last like 30 minutes of the movie, yeah, they stopped so doing that. Okay. Yeah. So Ness, Jacob, and Bella are in the forest together. Um, and she tells him that um, they're going to result to find out um, answers on her rapid growth. And Ness goes to catch a snowflake and is seen by Irina. She was flying. Yes. She, she used her like super vampire stuff to Can like, vampires fly, fly now? I don't know. Because she, cause she legit went up. Like she didn't even kick. Like she just yeah, went she, up. Yeah, she didn't jump. She kind of like lifted one of her legs. And then, and then she, she went up. Flying. And then she stood there for like a good like yeah. five seconds. And I was like, that's yeah. flying. Yeah, she caught a snowflake and she stood there and Arena saw her. And then she floated back down. Yeah. <laughs> so arena sees this and she immediately runs away they try to track her down but she jumps into the ocean and then literally not even hours later ends up in italy yeah (laughs) so they go back to carlisle's and we learn that um arena was there to make nice with them after her fit at the wedding but seeing jacob there was the thing that triggered her and so carlisle's like she'll come around eventually because she's family when in actuality Arena has gone to the Volturi to snitch on the Cullens. Why are we snitching? Why are we snitching? Why are we snitching? Have we not? And I have a, I have, I have another thing to talk about snitching, but it doesn't happen until the end of the movie. So, (laughs) so she says she's there to report a crime, and then Arrow reads her thoughts. The Cullens and Jacob are having a nice family moment, but is interrupted when Alice has a vision. And it's a vision of the Volturi and Arena coming for them. Edward asks what's going on. Um, I think I, I think I jumped ahead in my, my thought process and I didn't write down the first part. So <laughs> I think I wrote down that um, Edward asks why Arena is in the vision with the Volturi. And I said, it, and Edward asks what happens between Bella and her. And Bella says, nothing happened. The only thing that was going on was that... Um, Ness was jumping to catch snowflakes. And then everyone in media is like, oh my gosh. And they bring up the immortal child. Which, why they didn't tell people in case someone came over that they had a child, I'll never understand. Right, like why didn't they just outright tell the Volturi? Yeah, or anybody, like, their family. Like, hey, just so you know, in case you come over, right. we did not do an illegal thing. Yeah, <laughs> everything that happened is legal, okay? So, um... An immortal child is basically a child that was turned at a young age. And we learned that um, they're very dangerous because they're untrained and they're they're not able to keep the secret of vampires. So they were destroyed early on. Oh my gosh, that kid they had was adorable. Yeah. Uh, adorable. Could you blame that woman for wanting one? Honestly. I couldn't. Literally, I saw his little, little cutie. I saw his little face like standing on top of dead bodies. I was like, that's yeah, adorable. Yeah, he covering his mouth. I'm like, you're, you're a good one. You were so no cute. <laughs> like, I, I just want to take you home. Right. So we learned that um, Irina's mother had created an immortal child and she and the kid were killed. Because yeah, Jane yeah. literally did not get, like, she yeah. threw him like a moldy <laughs> sack of potatoes into yeah. that fire. Like, she literally is the one that finds the kid, and she, like, picks him up and, like, holds him while all of this is happening. And then the moment they light um, Irina's mother on fire, she just, she doesn't even, like, throw him like you would, like, regularly something. She literally just, like, extends her arms and drops him into the fire. Yeah. <laughs> Jane is like, I, I don't like kids. 
get him away from me. Ray Jade is like, I'm the youngest vampire. Get out of my face. Right. right. Like, you are not here to come from my place, okay? So Bella and Jacob are convinced that they can fight the Volturi for Ness because she's not an immortal child, but they're immediately shot down. And Edward's like, hey, what if we get, like, a group of people together that we can convince that this is not an immortal child, and then all of us can go to the Volturi and be like, hey, all of us know that she's not an immortal child. Now you have to accept that she's not an immortal child. Because apparently the the Volturi don't have a cell phone. Yeah, right. Like, you have to send air mail to them. Or just, like, show up. Or just show up. So uh, the next day, everyone is preparing to leave, but it stopped when Sam shows up with a message from Alice. Um, It says that they have left without telling anybody, and the message is telling them to gather witnesses before the snow sticks to the ground, because that's when the will come. Which made no sense to me. It was already snowing. Yeah. When Arena saw... uh, there was snow on the floor it was already snowing like it was a lot of snow i i don't know i don't know how this whole thing works (laughs) bella then takes the letter or the message and she sees that it was written on a ripped out page of the merchant of venice which that does come back later i have to Mm -hmm. mention it through a voiceover bella wonders why alice and jessica left um and what they um knew before leaving then why they had to do so uh bella edward jacob and ness go north to see their closest relatives the family arena is from edward tells them that ness tells them of ness and they bring her out and they're like you know just you know see my child so you know that she's not um an immortal child they are freaked out but like ness comes up to them and touches um what's her name I don't know. <laughs> I think it's Tanya. I think I wrote that down later, but sure. If her name's not Tanya, I apologize. <laughs> um, and Tanya sees um, Rennes May's memories, and they are all then convinced that she is good. We see Carlisle and Esme talking to others, and they are also unconvinced until Rami Malik uses his water bending to block Rami. their exit <laughs> and hear what they have to say. I forgot he was in this movie. Yes. <laughs> So then um, Rami Malek, whose name is Benjamin, by the way, goes to see Ness and he sees her story. He then uh, shows her his power and he's basically the avatar. I thought he like controls. broke, I thought he like broke her a hand. It was very confusing. <laughs> like he like uh, grabs her hand, he like twists it. Yeah. In, like a way that looks like it would break it. Yeah. And then he like raises his hand slowly off of hers after that. He, he masters the elements, by the way, if you did not get that avatar reference. Uh, they are then interrupted by Senna and Zafrina, who have come from the Amazon, who have come to see Ness as well. Vampires are coming from all over the world to see her while Carlisle goes to his friends to convince them of Ness. We see a vampire named Garrett attacking a random human, but is stopped by Emmett and Rosalie, saying that Carlisle needs him. And that he will be eventually become a great help to the family, which I never see that happen, by the way, in the movie. Yeah. Also, they let him kill a human. They did. They just stood there and just let it happen. Yeah. But, like, what could they have done at that point? Like, he had already, like, showed his, like, powers. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So more and more people come out to see Ness, and as a result of all the vampires in the area, more... Quileute uh, people have phased into werewolves. This is another thing that didn't make any sense from what we have been told before. Because yeah. we've been told before that they were able to turn into vampire into wolves before the vampires even showed up. Yeah. And that not everyone would phase into a werewolf. Yeah, but now seemingly everyone in the everyone tribe is, is turning werewolf. into a werewolf. <laughs> one of them one of them looked like he was like 12 years old. Yeah, they looked so young. Like younger than, a lot younger than um, when Jacob first phased. And they were freaking out when Seth turned because he was 15 and that kid, yeah. like, he was like 12 years and they old. Wouldn't, and they wouldn't let him out. Yeah. Because he was too young. But like Jacob's like, that's fine. Like, I don't care anymore. <laughs> I, don't know, I really don't care anymore. So Carlisle and Esme finally return and they bring someone called Alistair with them. 
um, 18 vampires are currently staying with the Collins and most of them have powers. So Frina has power over the mind and she can make people see whatever they want to see. We find out that Bella has the power to shield and that's why Edward was never able to use his mind reading on her. How mm -hmm. she had that power before she was a vampire. Who knows? Who knows? Does that mean that Edward was able to read people's minds before he turned into a vampire? Right. And and Alice was able to see the future before? Like, what? Yeah, it's not making sense. Wait. Uh, Kate, um, Irina's sister, also has the power to shock people. I don't know. Is, that, is it technically like electricity? Sure. Yeah. Uh, we then see Jacob in the woods training the new werewolves. And they sense that two uninvited vampires are there, so they go and chase them. The Collins race over, and it turns out to be friends of theirs, I guess. Um, they're named Stefan and Vladimir, who have come solely to fight the Voltori. Like, they're not there to support their cause right. or anything. They're just they don't want anything else. else. They're like, I don't care about your baby. Mm -hmm. They're like, I'm here to fight. Right. They're like, we see an opportunity to fight, and we're here for that. That's literally it. Uh, they hold a meeting, and we learn that Arrow has been gathering witnesses of his own, and also he wants to take gifted vampires so he's been after alice for a long time and that's okay. why her and jasper oh, left i didn't understand this why would he want alice but not bella bella pretty much has equal if not better talents than alice does well he didn't know about her powers until the end but like he could have like been able to tell that she would have at least had shielding powers from when he met her because uh what's her name alice had showed him they, her he, as a vampire. As a vampire. Maybe he didn't think of it as like a power. Maybe he just thought she was super dumb and that's and there were no thoughts in, <laughs> no in thoughts. the brain. No, no thoughts, thoughts, just vibes. Just, just vibes. <laughs> <laughs> no thoughts, just vampires. Just vampires. <laughs> that's literally Bella. And he's like, yeah, there's nothing up there. So that's probably why nothing works on her. <laughs> but no, like arrow has like a heart on for alice like he wants alice he really so does. bad and i'm just like there's like three people in this house right now who have better powers than alice <laughs> i almost said edward but i'm like you pretty much have the same power yeah he as probably edward. yeah like at but, that point you don't even need to tell you don't need to know what people are thinking if you can just see all of their thoughts at once yeah you know um anyway uh, some vampires are ready to leave once they find out that there's an army against them, but Edward convinces them all to stay and to fight for their way of life and like to fight to protect all the gifted vampires. Uh, the only people they really had to worry about um, are from the Volturi are Jane and Alex. Where Why they never showed Alex powers before, I'll never yeah. understand. Yeah, so Alec has the power of like a vapor that steals the senses from people. Yeah, he has like one of the best powers out of all yeah, the vampires. He's very OP. So we see Alec and Jane uh, going after um, a vampire and we then see Arrow and his gang show up as well. Um, and this vampire in particular is on his way to see Carlisle, but they kill him so that they won't, he won't be able to join them. Uh, uh, <laughs> Arrow believes Carlisle is trying to stand up to them and he's like we're going to bring the fight to them the Cullens and the other vampires then start to talk defense when um, Bella's shield is brought up and they're like yo if you like practice at your power then you could use it to protect all of us from like Jane and any of the other gifted vampires that they might have She's then taken outside to practice with Kate. And after some error, she's finally able to at least protect Edward um, from hurting so much from her electric shock. Mm -hmm. We then see Bella reading Rene uh, Ness to sleep. And um, when she goes to leave, Ness wakes up and is like, um, why did um, Auntie Alice and Jasper go away? Like, are we gonna die? <laughs> Yeah, she's like, are we going to die, mom? <laughs> and Bella's all like, no, 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 no. They left to keep us safe and everything's going to be fine. Later that night, Bella looks at the letter from Alice again and says that she's feeling worn down, even though she's like super strong. And Edward's like, no, 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 you're super strong. You're like stronger than you think you are. I'll go draw you a bath so you feel better. So when he leaves, 
Alice, uh, not Alice. <laughs> Bella um, looks at the page again and she notices that they have the same book on their shelf. So she goes to it and she finds out that it's the exact page that was stolen from her book. So she flips the page over and she finds a note, for, another note from Alice saying um, to find somebody named Jay Jenkins and then to destroy the book. So Bella says that Alice is, Alice left her that note only because she can shield her mind from Arrow. Which I didn't know Arrow could read minds from a distance. Yeah, okay. right. Like the only time her and Arrow interact is at the end. Yeah. Anyway, the next day, Bella, Jacob, and Ness go to Charlie's, but Bella says that she can't stay because she has errands to run. Jacob okay. stays with Ness. Can we please talk about how extremely aloof Charlie is? He is not phased at the fact that Resume is like 10 years... Renesme, sorry. Renesme is like 10 Resume. years old. Resume. <laughs> sorry. I've, I've, been apl- I've been applying to a lot of jobs. Um, no, he like doesn't even really care that Renesme is like 10 years old now. Well, I mean, he had... A, he barely raised Bella. He saw her two weeks out of yeah, the year. Yeah, so he just doesn't know how children age now. <laughs> yeah, he, he just saw like, oh, she's like almost an adult now. That's fine. That's great. That's great. She's been alive for what, six months? Six months. <laughs> Maybe not even six months. But yeah, Let's be generous like, and say a year. Oh, yeah. And he's all like, wow, you've grown so much. And she's like, wow, yo. <laughs> Actually, his exact words are, wow, you grew like five inches. Sir, she is a child now. Yeah, she's a full-on, like, eight-year-old child. Like, like she any, looks like she's eight. Like, any day now, she's going to... She speaks. Yes. <laughs> any day now, she's going to start, like, going through puberty. And he's right. just not even going to notice. Right. Like, you saw her with her creepy CGI face, like, a couple months ago. And then in like six and a half years when she's fully grown, he's going to mm-hmm. be like, wow, they grow up so, so fast. fast. <laughs> <laughs> Literally going to like show up to her grad and be like, it was just yesterday when she was like this big. And it's like, no, Charlie, literally she was that big. Like, yes, yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so Bella then makes her way to Seattle to meet with Jay Jenks. They, I feel like Jenks is too short, and I want to say like Jenkins. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah. So um, they meet at a restaurant, and she finds that Alice and Jasper have been working with Jay Jenks and his previous partner for the past twenty plus years, and also that Jasper had put in an order with Jenks before he left, and that it's complete now. Bella gets an envelope with two passports for Jacob and Ness and one other document that I couldn't read. Probably a birth certificate. Maybe. Because now, you know, they're going to run off and it's going to be Jacob's daughter. Awkward. (laughs) If if it was just them, then they'd have to move to a different town when he he would ever decide to, like, marry her. Yes. (laughs) Or make any kind of romantic advances. I mean, she grows at, like, she grows at like every couple of months she's like 10 years older so yeah but does that af- with the, at that point because she's growing so fast do you go by human age or how old she looks who knows he'll probably go by look <laughs> <laughs> gross dude no, because no, 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 when no, she's no, no. cuz when she's 7 she'll be like 18 and so he'll be like that's fine Anyway, Bella makes her way back with the envelope and she realizes um, that because there's only the two passports that Alice probably saw that Edward and her won't make it after this like battle thing that they're not planning for. Mm -hmm. Um, Bella then goes back to the house and packs a bag full of money and anything else that her that Ness and Jacob will need and writes Ness letter. While she was packing, Alistair walks in and he's all like, well, good luck to you and, and your kid <laughs> if you're willing to sell, uh, send her off that quickly. Uh, it's then Christmas and 
Bella, Edward Jacob, and Nestor Charlie's celebrating. Bella notices that the snow is finally sticking to the ground. Yeah, so we're supposed to, we're supposed to believe that the snow still has not stuck to the ground mm-hmm. by Christmas. Mm-hmm. The end like, of December. Like, couldn't you just think that like any snow because snow will eventually stay on the ground for i don't know maybe 24 hours before it melts does that count as it staying sticking to the ground right there was does no she s- actually mean like y'all have to have six inches of snow and then they'll come maybe that's what she meant but she didn't like relay that well <laughs> she really didn't at least not to the audience because mm-hmm. apparently the cullens understood exactly what she yeah. meant maybe the books just explain that better maybe um, Edward tells uh, Bella not to worry and just to celebrate today. So Charlie gets a five-day fishing trip that starts the next day. And they're using that as a way to protect him, to send him and his girlfriend. Sure. Off. And Why she, did... like, knows. Yeah, she knows. So is she, like, part of the Quileute tribe? Yeah, she looked native. Like, I don't want to assume, but, like, she knew that she... they were vampires. And, like, she I'm looked... assuming she knows about Jacob, so... Yeah, she looks like a native person and seemingly all the at least adult native people know about the wolves. Yeah. And she's like not phased at all about what's happening the next day anyway. So Yeah. I don't understand why Charlie had to leave though. Like it didn't make any sense to me. Mm. Like he was know. he wasn't near that battlefield. Like he didn't have to go anywhere. Right. And they weren't after him anyway. They were after Ness. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, Jacob then gives a gift to Ness and it's a leather bracelet that he's made. Also, I just want to real talk for one minute. That is a child filming opposite Taylor Lautner and Taylor Lautner is supposed to act the opposite of a child and he's supposed to act like that's his romantic interest. Like, yeah. How messed up is that? That's a child. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. That poor girl is probably messed up. So we then see the vampires and Jacob waiting for the Volturi the next day. Oh my gosh, I just thought about Or, or that night, or that night, I think. I just thought about a worse vampire pairing. Hmm. Have you seen the movie Interview with the Vampire? I have not. Literally Brad Pitt, I think it's Brad Pitt, hmm. and Kristen Dunst when she was a child made out. I just remember that. Yes. Excuse me? Yeah, she was like a child vampire. Oh no. oh, no. And I guess she was like a couple hundred years old. And for some reason, like her mind was like aging because she was like, I want to be in love and blah, 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 blah. And like they like made out. Hmm. Awkward. Don't like that. Let's get off of this subject. Let's get off <laughs> of this subject. <laughs> so Jacob starts a fire and like they all wait. For why like the next why they made a fire, I'll never understand. The vampires don't get cold, and the and Jacob doesn't get cold. Jacob doesn't get cold. Maybe they needed it. Maybe Jacob was the only one that really needed it for light. Because if we go back from the first, the the last episode, in the last movie that like vampires can see at night, because if Jacob can drive a boat in the middle of the ocean at night, then all of them can see at night too. But don't wolves hunt at night? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm. Maybe he only has that power when he's a wolf. He's a human right now. Sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh. Anyway. So he then asks like for war stories. And uh, Jacob asks for war stories and like he doesn't get a response from anybody. And then randomly people start coming over and start talking about all the wars that they've been in. Um. Edward then feels bad for the vampires that have gathered to help protect his family. And Carlisle's like, bro, they're not here just to protect your family. They're here to fight for what they personally believe in. And they just used your excuse to bring the Volturi here to like bring up their issues and to fight for what they want. Uh, Bella then gives a NASA locket with a photo of her and, and uh, Edward and tells her that um, her and Jacob will be leaving the next day so that they can be safe. The next day, the Cullens and the rest of the vampires stand and wait for the Volturi, who show up with three times as many vampires as they do. Mm-hmm. Ooh, also, mm-hmm. that night before, mm-hmm. what, what were their names? Vladimir and whatever? Stefan. Stefan. Yeah. 
uh, they uh, mention that the Volturi have only been in power for 1,500 years. That's actually relatively short for a monarchy. That is true. Like, I feel like, yeah, definitely China had longer monarchy. Oh, definitely. And Japan had a longer Dynasty, monarchy. Bro. Like, so, were there no organization of vampires before the Volturi? Or? Apparently, whatever, what are they, Romanian? What are Vladimir and Stefan? What are they? I assume they, that they were Russian. Russian, whatever. Apparently, they were in power first. Um, and then, like, the Volturi, like, came and, like, took over. But was, like, but was their reach, like, as far as the Volturi? Because the Volturi, like, controls the whole world, kind of. Who knows? Who knows? I just, just like, compare the Volturi to, like, the Pope. The Pope. <laughs> <laughs> because, like, like their architecture, the way that the, their vibe, it just matches. Like Because the they're Italian. Vibe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, and either I mean, way. Those, those, they... those robes and, like, everything that, like, come on now. Either way, they haven't been in power that long. <laughs> yes, they have not. So at the battlefield, um, after the Volturi show up, Edward says that Arrow is looking for Alice. And then Irina notices that she's standing opposite to her sisters. And then Jacob and the rest of the wolves show up. Carlisle then steps up and um, tries to so talk sense into Arrow. And Arrow says he's there just to collect all of the facts. And he's like, hey, Edward, let me read your mind. So like, I can settle this. Um, so Edward goes to Arrow and Bella like tries to protect him for like a hot second, but like pulls her shields back. Because he probably went too far. Yeah, probably. They were or like, maybe the she's- Vol The Volturi were like a full football field away yeah, from really, everyone. Though. And like, I understand that um, vampires can hear super well, but like Carlisle just speaks very normally. Yeah, he's like, hey. Yeah, he's like, hey, Arrow, like, can we just not fight? Yeah. And like, no. Arrow hears it perfectly. He's like, yeah. No. He's like, no, it's on sight. Right. <laughs> and like, I understand that they're vampires, but like, for the audience, I think it would have been better if they were at least not a football Projecting? on one another. Yes. Um, so Edward goes to Arrow and he reads his mind. And after that, he's like, I would like to meet Ness. So Bella, Jacob, and Emmett bring her to Arrow. Arrow hears Ness's heartbeat when she gets so much closer and he's like super excited. Yeah, he like, like freaks out. He's like, ah! he really does. <laughs> <laughs> And then he reaches out for her hand, but she's like, nah. I got this. My, I got this. And she puts her hand on his cheek and she he sees her um, memories. Arrow then announces that Ness is actually a half-blood and Caius starts to oppose immediately, but he is shut down. Irina is then brought forward and she is made to identify the child, but she's like, yo, I don't know if that's the same girl because she's grown so much since the last time I saw her. Which is valid. Which is 100% valid. Irina then says she'll take responsibility for my, her mistake and she is then killed. Here we go. Here we go. Why would anyone report a crime if this can happen to you? You report a crime right. and you're wrong and they kill you? Right. Like, why would, why would anyone? The only thing crime? she saw was Ness in the sky. Why wouldn't she just confront Edward and Bella? Yeah. See, I would never report a crime because, like, like, you need facts, bro. Like, I would have to be 130% oh, yeah. sure that I'm right. Otherwise, I'm dead. Yeah. Like, it's on site if you're, if you're wrong. Like, immediately. That's, like, why do you get, why do you get killed? for that like it's not like she was like lying like she right. truly believed yeah, she, she did. saw an immortal child yeah and like so, i don't know maybe it was because arena was so upset from the first encounter but then she saw jacob and then she sees a flying child and she's like i'm willing to die for this maybe. i'm so petty i am willing to die for this i could i could i could see myself being that petty <laughs> so when Irina is killed and burned, Tanya and Kate go to attack, but are stopped by Senna, who changes what they're seeing. Edward then talks sense into them, and they stop. Wait a minute, did James... you say Senna? 
Oh, no, not Selma. That was, what's her name? That's a completely different movie. <laughs> no, 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 no. The other girl, her name is Senna. Zafrina and Senna. Zafrina is the one that does, that has the mind tricks, and Zafrina is the one that stops them. But the other girl's name is Senna. Oh. I looked up the cast names. <laughs> Good for you. You did a little bit of work. I don't do that. I always look up the, the names because I know if I put it in as like just like a regular he or she or they, I'm just I will never know who I'm talking about. <laughs> so um after that, Jane then attacks Edward with her powers, but is stopped by Bella's shield. And then when she is stopped, she also yep. has to attack the others. Jane attacks for like no reason. Yeah, unprovoked. She said it's on site with me. I'm, I'm attacking. And then she, when she can't attack Edward, she tries anyone else. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's like, like, who can I, I do care. now? Right, she's like, I don't care who I fight as long as I fight. <laughs> But Bella is protecting all of them. And Jane's like, whoa, what the heck is going on? Carlisle then tells Arrow that there's no law being broken. But Arrow then flips it and says that Ness's connection to the humans. And because there's so many unknowns about her, it could be very dangerous for them. And proposes that if they kill Ness today, they won't have to worry about it later. Alice and Jasper then appear. And they are taken to Arrow. And she says she has evidence that Ness won't be a threat to them. Arrow was Arrow, ecstatic yeah. when he saw her. And then her. the moment Alice is all like, I can show you. And she puts her hand out. I was like, yes, bring her to me. <laughs> he literally looks at her the way I look at cake batter ice cream from Goldstone. Like, yeah. he's like, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. <laughs> the minute he sees Alice on the battlefield, he's like, <gasps> Alice, she's here. Here. Everybody, did she's see, here. Did you see her? <laughs> Look at her go. I, I love her. <laughs> um, so Arrow takes Alice's hand and he sees something. And then Alice immediately takes her hand back and she's all like, yo, you won't even change your mind after seeing what I showed you. Um, Alice then turns around and she like says now to Bella very obviously very obviously <laughs> very obviously like if they can hear them from a football field away I'm sure they can yeah. hear, the, hear it when you're right next to them right also like the way she said now like you're a football field away I know your eyesight is really good but like she's like now <sighs> very exaggerated I'm like yo that was so bad <laughs> She could have like winked or something to make it. She really could have. She really could have just looked at them and like nodded her head or something. But no, she had to say now. Yeah. So Bella immediately sends um, Jacob away with Ness. Alice then kicks Arrow <laughs> and is restrained. Carlisle then charges and goes for Arrow, and then he is um, killed, which sparks the wolves and the vampires. To Carlisle fight. getting his head yanked off was an Avengers Endgame level event. I, it, it was it, so swift and clean. It was. Like Arrow. Like Arrow literally caught this man by the hair and just like, you know what? Pushes him to the ground and yanks his head off at the same time. Right. Everybody else had to put like effort into ripping people's yeah. heads off. He did it with like a swiftness. Like, he yeah. did it like immediately. Yeah. Errol's like, I've been waiting for this moment to kill Carlisle my whole he's like, life. He's like, I never get to fight. Like, I'm ready. <laughs> it's like so that, that scene. Sparks... It's like that scene from what movie is that? The Kim Possible movie. That's what it is. No. <laughs> um, I, I think it's called A Sitch in Time, where like, oh, yes. what's her name? Shigo becomes like the ruler of the world. Mm -hmm. And then she has a Dr. Dragon, like, chained in the corner and then she's like go fight them and like everybody's like what are you talking about and then he turns out to be like heck a buff like yeah, that's right, what it is right, 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 right. And that's literally all it is <laughs> so the battle starts and during that jane and bella like stand off with one another because like they cancel bella is canceling out what jane can do mm-hmm Jasper then dies as a result because uh, Bella is subdued and so she's not able to protect him anymore. Uh, so Jasper dies and so does I put down Alec, but I'm not sure that's correct. Anymore. Alec does die. Uh, that is Alec? Yes. Because I, I thought he dies later. 
I don't know when he dies, but I know that Emmett kills him. Yeah, because that's a different person. Oh, but there's all okay. Anyway, so Alec <laughs> does die here. Um, and while all of this is happening, Jacob is running with Ness to safety, but he is chased by a vampire. Seth is then killed on the battlefield, and Leah howls. Oh, poor Seth. I know it my was, my pure so innocent sad. baby boy. So uh, Leah howls in despair, and Jacob hears it, and he's temporarily distracted. Um, and Ness is like, uh, "Yo, uh, Jacob, <laughs> we're being chased. <laughs> we're being chased, and I'm about to die." Um, but he snaps out of it at the last moment, and he kills the vampire that's chasing them. Back on the battlefield, Benjamin sees that the Voltori are starting to win, so he uses his elements to tip the battle, and he just creates this huge like fissure in the middle of the battlefield, and it kind of tips the battle into their favor. Kind of. Kind of. I feel like equal amount of people die on both sides, but anyway. yeah. Um, Esme is um, on the brink of falling into the um, fissure and into like lava down at the bottom. Yeah, he somehow like <laughs> split the world into the, like the Earth's crust. Like yeah. I don't know how he did that. Yeah. Like at that point, shouldn't Arrow want uh, um, Benjamin on his side? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. There's so many better people this, than Alice. This man controls all four elements. He is the Avatar. He is too yeah. powerful. And he wants Alice because she can sometimes, like, future. without knowing, no, like, no, no. have a vision. Since the first movie, they have dispelled the fact that she can sometimes be wrong. She's always right now. Okay. Weird, but okay. <laughs> because, like, in the first movie, they're like, she can see the future, but, like, sometimes it changes, so we don't take her seriously all the time. And then yeah. now, like, anytime she's she always see, right. She's always right. Continuity, y'all. So uh, Leah sees that Esme is about to fall um, and she sacrifices herself to um, save um, Esme, which triggers Sam. Um, mm -hmm. Edward almost dies in the fissure as well, but he climbs out and he kills another vampire, which I thought Whoever was he was. Whoever he was. Um, Alice goes after Jane and- Alice is a cancer. Like, you can't convince me otherwise. Like super nice, but then like once yeah, you heard because her of how feelings, savage she was. Yes. <laughs> so Alice goes after Jane and immediately just brings her down, and she drags Jane over to Sam, and she's like, "You can end her." Because Jane doesn't know how to fight, and I think she really doesn't. I think that's she so only funny. uses her mind. Yeah, she just uses it. her powers. She's always had her powers to protect her, so she mm -hmm. never learned how to fight. Yeah. <laughs> so. And then Bella steps into the picture and she has no idea what she's doing. Right. She's like, what do I do? She literally starts running from Alice. Yeah. Like homegirl gets so scared. And Alice is like, not today, honey. <laughs> not today. So Sam kills Jane. And then Caius joins the battle. And then he is killed by Tanya and Kate in retaliation for him killing Irina. Marcus is then killed by Vladimir and Stefan. And I feel at this point, Marcus just accepted his death. Oh yeah, he 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 literally said finally. Yeah, like he like, he was has ready. Been wanting to die. <laughs> but like when you've been living for like two thousand years, like yeah. aren't you eventually ready yeah. to die? Yeah, aren't you just bored? Like there's nothing else for you to do at this point. Right? Who wants to live that long? Yeah. Like I get like at that point, everyone you know is dead and then everyone you have met since then is still alive yeah and at that point you're probably just like i'm tired of I'd, these I'd people. love it if i would never be able to see these people ever again <laughs> so he's probably been wanting to die for the past like hundreds of years yeah so after um arrows two little like sidekicks are killed he, it makes him super mad and so he finally joins the fight edward and bella fight him and he is eventually taken down and killed and burned that's a, a perfect marriage. Yeah. Kicking down an oppressive government together. Mm -hmm. We love to see it. If if you and your significant other aren't ready to burn down your oppressive government, then what do you really do? Right. Why are you even married? Yeah. Why are you even together? <laughs> but JK, all it's all a vision. Yeah. I hate all that. a vision from Alice. This, it, I, it's such a cop out. It's such a cop out. It's, it's super cheap and it's unfulfilling. I hate it. Yeah. Like, uh, it was such a waste of movie at that point. It was. Like, you could have done so much more. But no, you just decided to waste all of that on a 
battle that is never going to happen. I would have preferred if they did like the cliche thing that they do in movie battles where like no one in the family died. Mm-hmm. Like that would have been better than mm-hmm. this. Mm-hmm. Like having most of the Cohen family die and then having to deal with that after, like that would have been such a better movie. Yes. Like, because that would have forced people to grow a character mm-hmm. and to change their ways. Like, but nah. Yeah, we have to say, JK, it's all a vision. So um, once we figure out that it's a vision, Alice takes her hands back from Arrow and he's super shook because of what he just saw. And we're back literally to the moment when um, Alice and Jasper have arrived on the battlefield. Um, Caius then tries to push to kill Ness and um, Arrow's like, no, 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 no. He did not see what I just saw. We are not doing that. And Edward's like, hey, yeah. yo, if we... Arrow is like, no, no, you don't want yeah. the smoke. Like, yeah, not really. <laughs> he's like, like, I saw. You got taken down in like two seconds, yo. I like, saw it. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I saw some stuff. Like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yo, like I even died, so uh, we're not going into this. <laughs> right, like let's let's find a way to get out of this. <laughs> right. Like he's like, Alice, please give me the tiniest excuse so I can get us out right, of here. Right. Right. And then Edward, Edward gives him an out. He's literally like, if we live separately from everybody else, from humans and everyone, would you let us live in peace? And Caius is still on his, on his high horse being like, let's kill this kid. And he's all like, we don't know, like, what's going to happen if we let her live. And then Alice is like, yo, I have further proof. And she brings out two people from the Tapuna tribe from Brazil. And one of them is a man who is half vampire, half human, like Ness. He is 150 years old. He stopped aging after seven years. Um, And he eats human food or blood. And he can survive off of either. Marcus then believes them. Caius is still, like, on the fence. And then Arrow's like, I believe that. Mm -hmm. this is how you this is how you know he wanted to just find an excuse he didn't even touch that man yeah he didn't even check to confirm it like alice alice could be just like spouting nonsense right now yeah she could have just got like some random human from this tribe and a vampire that happened to live in the same area and been like hey i need y'all to come like don't ask any questions yeah don't ask any questions here's your script memorize it only speak when spoken to yeah (laughs) (laughs) and arrow is like yeah i accept it and he makes like he's like let's bounce yeah he makes his side stand down and they all leave but he like still makes eyes at alice and then he makes eyes at bella and he's all like i will make them join me one day (laughs) right he Um, was like he was like, I will. He's like, oh, now I realize how much I want Bella. Mm-hmm. He's like, I want her now. Mm-hmm. He should have also looked at Benjamin because yeah, that man's is too powerful. Like, like Arrow literally saw him break Earth down yeah. to the core. Like, he also should have been looking at Benjamin like, you a snack. You gonna be part of my group one day. <laughs> so the Volturi leave. Vladimir and uh, Stefan, like, immediately like jump up and they're like yeah we're supposed to fight them now because they have their backs turned to us they'll never like expect it but like edward's like nah let's just let them go we've gotten our victory for today which makes vladimir and stefan like really pissed and they just like walk away from everyone else yeah so everyone is safe and happy we then see the cullen saying goodbye to all of the vampires that have come to help them and jacob goes to edward and he brings up the fact that um (sighs) she'll she'll be able to live for a very long time which also means that she will outlive jacob <laughs> yeah he didn't want to mention that though he didn't want to mention that he literally just like she'll live for a long time huh and edward's like yeah she will won't she unless she turns jacob into a vampire and l- which how would that work because then which, he would be a- which would be like a myriad of other problems yeah yeah <laughs> which at that point maybe they should have killed ness because then yeah. she'll still have a werewolf vampire on the <laughs> Um, Jacob then jokes about calling Edward dad, and Edward's like, no, don't. No, it was super creepy. It made me feel uncomfortable. And I was just sitting there thinking, like, someone wrote that. Yeah, and then someone saw that and read it and approved it. Someone approved that. Someone filmed that. Mm-hmm. 
and then multiple producers, editors, and executives watched it, watched it, and let it be in the movie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What 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 was happening there? I mean, they let the Nessie comment go. So yeah. okay. All right. <laughs> Every everyone associated with this movie needs to get a second look at. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully they've learned from their mistakes. Before. Hopefully. <laughs> um, Bella then joins the rest of her family and Ness shows her something. And Bella confirms that everything is going to be okay. Also, if Ness can talk, why isn't she speaking? Like, I get that maybe she's more comfortable speaking through like whatever her gift is. But like to the audience... We don't know what she's saying until yeah. until somebody answers her. Yeah, please start talking. Yeah, just talk. I get you're really only like a year old, but like, can you True. please can you please start talking? But you've spoken before a lot. She spoke at Christmas, so obviously she knows how to, how to articulate. Maybe she doesn't know how to specifically articulate what she's feeling, but you can talk and find out. Does she go to school? Like, does she do that to like random she just, kids? She, she, she probably can't. Yeah. She grows so fast. Okay. Unless there's like some special school she can go to. Because that take that takes out one problem. Like she's like she's like freaking out on the, on like the playground. And <laughs> she's like, and they're like, what's wrong? What's wrong? She goes up to her teachers like, yeah. Yeah. Touches her cheek. Yeah, and if she has to go by age group and not how she looks, she'd be like a teenager in like elementary school. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it would be like what's that movie? Billy Big? Madison? Is that the name yeah. of that movie? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's literally that. Her making poop jokes while she looks like thirty years old. <laughs> yes, and she can't fit in the desks because yes. she's too big. <laughs> yes. Uh, back to the movie. Um, Ella, uh, Alice. Uh, Alice then sees a vision of Jacob, Ness, Edward, and Bella being happy together. And they've aged up Ness so that it doesn't look creepy between her and Jacob. Mm-hmm. Even though we know. <laughs> we know. We know. Because if she is looking that that old, she's probably like, what, six? <laughs> 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 that is still jail time, my friend. So we are then back in that damn flower field. And it's full on sunny, and neither Bella nor Edward nope, no are glow. glimmering. Bella then says she wants to show Edward something, and she projects her shield. And I say that shield is her power. Yes, correct. Yeah, she like turns off her powers. She then projects like her memory of them meeting, like their whole story to Edward. Oh, she but, was like that's pro- not. She was yes. projecting it? I thought he was just like yes. reading her mind. No, 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 no. Okay. I think, I think she was projecting because Edward then asks how she could do that. Oh, and, he did, and she's like, he? And she's like, I've been practicing. But that's not your gift. Your gift is just shield. Right. Okay. Like, that shouldn't be part of your thing. And so Edward is like, oh, that's cool. Show it to me again. And she's all like, you're funny, huh? <laughs> we have forever she's like i'm tired like no (laughs) like that took out all my energy like can we not today (laughs) um they then kiss and um they're like we at least we have forever to like go back to our story again and then that's where the movie ends yay should we do our rankings now or should we wait uh let's do movie facts first and then okay our ranking so uh to protect Mackenzie foy the actress who plays ness uh, the director put a swear jar on set and anybody who like was caught swearing or like uttering any kind of profanity they were they were fined on the spot and i don't know how much money they raised or how much money they does like, she put get in that, jar. that money what happens they, to that money they said that they donated the money to saint jude's Ho- children's hospital okay so i don't know how much they were finding people to make any kind of donation to yeah. saint jude's children's <laughs> hospital but it was cool of them um so 10 actresses one cgi baby and one animatronic baby played ness Ew. during breaking dawn i knew it animatronic mm-hmm. i There's knew a it animatronic baby also this movie had a 120 million dollar budget and you're, you're kidding i am not kidding 
and I bet you is half it, of it, it was used for is it because, uh, is it because, for Ness's face. Is it because they filmed this one and the other one back to back, and they're like combining them? I don't know, but I I specifically looked up Breaking Dawn Part Two movie facts, and this was there, under the IMBD movie there, fact for, for Part Two. There is no way they spent more money on this movie than they do some superhero movies. There's no way. I don't know. They did film in three different locations for this movie, and they um, and I'm assuming they used a lot of CGI for for Ness and the wolves. Like fifty percent of this movie takes place in the Collins house. I have no idea. I really don't. It's the most expensive Twilight movie. Um, another movie fact. The cast couldn't see through their colored contacts. I'm sure they couldn't. <laughs> because they specifically had to make them as realistic looking as possible. So with regular colored contacts, they make the, the pupil like area bigger mm-hmm. so that when your um, pupil dilates, it's able to fit. But I think they made the, the hole a lot smaller so that if their eyes did dilate in whatever light they were in, mm-hmm. it, their original eye color wouldn't shine through. So they could not see it all through their, through their color contacts. That sucks. Um, the cast was cut by the fake snow that they used on set. Cut? Yeah. So I don't know what they usually use for um, I don't snow either. in the movie business. But for the any of the snow scenes that they were outside, they were using very finely cut paper. And so whenever the actors had to move very quickly, like through the fighting scenes and whatever, they were getting really small paper cuts across their body. That and sucks. A lot of them got like multiple. And like, that would really suck. Yeah, I don't know. Like, what... Paper cuts are freaking annoying because they yeah. just, anything stings them, right? And you don't, sometimes you don't even know you've gotten a paper cut. It yeah. just stings a lot. I feel like I would get super annoyed at that, like super quickly. I'm like, can we use literally anything else? Right, right. Like use like foam or something. <laughs> Little like soap bubbles. So soap, like they use it like theme parks, like yeah. something. Yeah. Like I feel like that would be so much safer. Or um, even like like miniature pieces of like styrofoam, like yeah, something else. Something. Because is it? I don't budget cuts because the 120 million budget they're, went to Renesmee's face. They're like we used all the money on this damn baby's face. <laughs> yeah, and that's all my movie facts. That's great. What is your ranking? Okay, so I feel like I put a lot more thought into my list than I should have. But um, here's my ranking. Twilight, Breaking mm-hmm. Dawn Part Two, mm-hmm. New Moon, mm-hmm. Eclipse, Breaking Dawn Part One. But we have completely different lists. <laughs> really? Uh, okay. Yes, mine is Breaking Dawn Part Two, mm-hmm. Eclipse, mm-hmm. New Moon, mm-hmm. Twilight, mm. Breaking Dawn Part One. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. I did it by which ones had like the most like plot <laughs> pretty much yeah i feel like though because twilight was the first movie they give you the most because they have to make people like it did they breaking... <laughs> well they gave you enough and then breaking dawn part two because that's where like most of the action happens and like there are other vampires other than the collins mm-hmm. so it's a lot more interesting which is something else i want I want a spinoff like series of movies, maybe even a television show, like a streaming show or something of the Volturi. Mm. I want to see their rise to power. I'm very interested in how that happened. Right. I want to see them find Jane and Alec. Right. I want to see everything. I want to see it. I want to see who turned them. I want to see why Carlisle left the Volturi. Like, right. I want to see it all. Right. Like, we don't get, we want to know how they became to be so respected. Yes. Like, how do y'all just accept that Arrow's the, the leader? Yeah. And how has nobody, like, stepped to him yet other than the Collins? Yeah. See, we need 
either a series of movies or a show. I feel like a show would be better because then you get more episodes to talk about stuff. Yes. Like each like vampire could get like their own episode. Yeah. And we can like find out like where they came from and stuff. Every series can be like a different time period. Like give it to us, please. Yes, do it. Please. Stephanie Meyer, if you want to make more money. We just gave you a multi-million dollar idea. Yeah. If you want more information, you're going to have to get in contact with us, though. Yeah. Reach because reach out to us at SY. Reach, reach out to us at SY2II podcast at gmail.com. Yes, please. Yes, please. We will be waiting. Or if somebody other than Stephanie Meyer wants to come up and, and, and take this. Yeah. If you own, just like, tell her. <laughs> if you own, like, the distribution rights to Twilight, like, yeah. let, let us know. Yeah. Come on now. We've got, I mean, Come on now, the Twilight has have the Twilight fandom has had a resurgence because of the whole like new book that Stephanie Meyer put out, which isn't really new material anyway. Oh yeah, so. Kelly told me about that and it pissed me oh, off. Oh yeah, yeah, dumb. But anyway, if you want like new content, we got you. I have an idea for you. Oh, also, is this is this movie iconic or not? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> um, it does have the best action out of all the movies, but it's that still bad movie yeah. but like I, I said I do want a spinoff I yeah. do want a spinoff yeah, 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 yeah. like I think this movie is iconic because I feel like we get more insight into the vampire world because I feel like all the other movies it's just been Edward Bella and Jacob That's yeah really, really been it like it's just been their personal like issues with one another and then this movie is like the first one where like there's other people involved yes and that fight scene, even though it was fake, which I am still pissed about. Yeah. Um, it was re- it was pretty good. It was great. So. But yeah. Um, any recommendations for our last day? Um, come back to me. You do. Okay. My Rick, I have one. Okay. It's, it's Bridgerton on Netflix. Okay. It's so good. Oh, yeah, you were talking about that. Oh, my gosh. First off, it's produced by Shonda, Shondaland, you know, mm. who created Grey's Anatomy, yes, yes, How, to, yes. How to Get Away with Murder, yes. uh, Private Practice, other great shows. Amazing. Love it. Um, Daphne and Simon are, like, the only main characters I've ever stand. <laughs> Usually they throw in like a third person and I'm like oh I like that person much better with the girl but this they tried that and I was like no I don't like him I like Simon I like her with Simon (laughs) I'm not done yet I think I'm on episode four or five like I spent like most of the day yesterday (laughs) watching it I will finish it today and if Daphne and Simon they uh aren't together at the end Mm -hmm. i will i will riot riot. (laughs) (laughs) i will riot i will drive to la go to shonda's uh offices and i will sit outside with a flyer (laughs) i'll go on a hunger strike i don't care yes the show needs to continue if any of y'all want to meet him out there great meet me there right Come I'll, welcome. I'll, I'll like tweet out or something like if if I tweet out like a wink you already know what's going on <laughs> <laughs> there's gonna be like a winky face with like something on fire and then you'll yeah. just know you'll know he has gone to riot <laughs> mm. <know> okay <laughs> go, go ahead all right all right all right all right So I am going to recommend a book series. Okay. Two book series. Um, I'm recommending this first one because if y'all are are Team Jacob and you're into werewolves, like I I had my phase of werewolves. If you want a good werewolf story, check out um, The Wolves of Mercy Falls by um, Maggie Steve Otter. Never even heard of it. It's a four book series really i think it's a four book series it's four book series it's really good like it's it's like werewolves but it makes sense it makes total sense and there's like consequences and stuff like being a werewolf and it's really good okay 
Um, her other series that is my favorite series ever. It's um, the Raven Circle, Ra Raven Cycle, excuse me, Raven Cycle. Super good. My favorite books ever. They're newer than um, the Mercy Falls series, but still super good. Check them out. She deserves it. She deserves all the hype. That's great, it for me. Great to hear. Uh, well, that's it for Twilight Week. Yeah. It Happy was, end of Twilight Week, y'all. It was very stressful. It was very stressful. But we also, did it. If you're not into Twilight, don't try to watch two Twilight movies back to back. Oh, no, if, don't do please that. Please learn from my mistakes. I tried to tell her. She didn't listen to me. <laughs> and even I was going to try and watch Breaking Dawn like through and through, just one right after the other. And like nothing happens in the first one. But even then, I was like, I wasn't in any mental turmoil, but like, I wasn't about to put myself through any of it to try and fit two back to back. Yeah. Uh, so follow us on our social media. We have a Twitter and an Instagram. They're both at SYTYI podcast. Mm -hmm. Kelly is now in charge. Yes, <laughs> I am figuring out how to use Twitter. So forgive me. <laughs> She'll figure it out. It's not that hard. I'll, I'll figure it out. Uh, send us your movie requests and, yes. and, and send us some stories at our email, sytyipodcast at gmail.com. Tell us your ranking of the Twilight movies. Oh my gosh, yes, please. Yes. Tell me that I'm right. Tell us why Breaking Dawn Part 1 is your favorite. If it is, please don't even email me. Please, <laughs> please don't even email. <laughs> you obviously have something you need to work through <laughs> first. <laughs> And then once you come to the realization that you're wrong, you come back. You come back and you tell us. <laughs> also, don't forget to tell us what team you're on. Yeah. You're we, are most, we are team Jacob stands. We're team Jacob. We only stand Jacob in this household until yeah. he starts imprinting on children. And then, yes. we, we have and to then we're back. and then we're and then we're all on team Seth because yeah. <laughs> my innocent little boy, he just he just he's happy to be included yes he just, he's just he's just happy to be there he's really just happy to be here <laughs> uh don't forget to share us with your family and your friends yeah and subscribe to us on spotify and apple podcast and also don't forget to rate and review us on apple podcast mm -hmm. wow podcast I, I, <laughs> uh it's a new year yes so we need new reviews yes new listeners new listeners we're manifesting we're manifesting right now ah. help, us, help us manifest help us manifest and also help us by wearing your mask yes and washing that in your hands and your hands and don't forget to stay iconic stay iconic y'all it's the new year okay bye bye